Friends, I hope wherever you are in the world, you are happy and healthy. My name is Tammy, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you choosing to spend a little time hanging out with me today. So today, I am going to go over the nine decks I will be focusing on um, for the month of July. So starting off, the first deck is my Earth, Moon, and Shadow Oracle. This is by Serafina Yesh, Yesh Mesa, and the artwork is by Kat L. Amsel. This is the book. Um, let's see here, the guidebook. This is a deck that I supported on Kickstarter. If I can find information on where you can find it, I will make sure to put it in the description box below. So it has information about working with the, the Oracle, how to cleanse the Oracle, trigger and transformation cards, some card spreads, and then each card. So let's go to an example. So an example, it shows a picture of the card in black and white. It gives the keywords a little like quote, and then information about the card. All right, so let's look at some of these cards. So this is the first deck. And in case you are new here, um, what I do is every month I choose nine decks that I wanna focus my energy into. And every morning I pull a card, I do a three card spread for the week with these decks. So every morning I use all nine decks or else I use it the night before for the next day. And um, if there's something else specific that I'm looking for, I might pull additional decks. But these are the nine that I will be focusing on for potentially two weeks or a month. I'm trying to focus on them for a month so that I really feel like I get to know the decks very, very well. All right. So this does not have any um, edging on it. I have not edged it. I do not think I'm going to. This is the back, and I really like it. It is reversible if you read reversibles. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So usually I do not. And the artwork is just, it's breathtaking. Breathtaking. So for example, hidden paths, awareness, mindfulness, self-mastery. And I believe they might have just come out with another deck. And I think I supported it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look. But um, yeah, phases of the moon, impermanence, enlightenment, cycles. Okay, look how gorgeous that is. Treachery, betrayal, mistrust, deception. Let's do this. Um, rising sun. Hope, courage, optimism. Autumn winds, new paths, changes, unseen forces. I love that you can like see the wind blowing through their hair too. And the weather vane tattoo. Snow moon, rest, recovery, planning. Um, memory and mind guidance, analysis, application. It's just breathtaking. And I do believe, I have not worked with this nearly enough. I do believe that it does cover um, various moons. Yeah, because I see here, I see blue moon, blood moon, cold moon. Um, snow moon. Wolf moon. So a couple of them. Anyway, so I'm excited to work with this deck and really get to know it some more. 
I originally picked this deck up for shadow work, but to be honest, I just, it's so beautiful. I feel like I can use it in so many different ways. All right, the next deck, I'm going to apologize now because I do not think you can, you cannot get it unless you find it somewhere. And last thing I knew, it was going for a whole lot. It is my Bone Stone and Earth Flesh Tarot. This is the companion book. This is another breathtaking deck. Um, I know that the creators spent a lot of time on it. And I know that there was a lot of controversy about this deck because of it. Um, I just lucked out and was able to swoop in and get a deck before they were all sold out. I think some people had backed out. Um, and then... I believe the creator, Avalon Cameron, had said that they were not going to make any more of them. And then they released the black and white prints. Um, so I don't know if they will. Um, I kind of hope that they will, just because this is such a breathtaking deck. Um, I would like others to be able to enjoy it. All right, so this was created by Avalon Cameron, and the illustrations are by Anna Torian. And I mean, this is a, a hefty little white book. <laughs> and, um, so this is the book here. It does have a nice table of contents, all the different cards. And does it have, it has working with it tips about the deck. There are some spreads. I don't, it doesn't look like there's a lot. So it says 22. Oh, okay. So there's the bone stone spread. Oops. The Bruxa spread. Meet your guide spread and how to read it all together, a three card spread. So it's a hefty book. It does, like for each card, it has like a little black and white picture of it, the title of the card, um, who the character of inspiration is, um, a number associated with it, a seraphira, I don't know. Um, and then astrology sign and elemental combination associated associated with it. It has the essence, the narrative about the character or the legend that the card was based off of. Um, in a reading, how you can incorporate it as a person, that person um, that it was based off of. Um, a reversal and then journal prompts. And this is another deck that I have looked at fondly, <laughs> but I haven't used as much as I should, just simply because I know that this deck was going for a lot of money after they decided not to create any more. And it also has this really beautiful red edging on it. And you can already see mine has some nicks from use. And, um, you know, that doesn't bother me because this is a deck that I plan to use. It just kind of made me a little intimidated to use it more than just a handful of times because, um, you know, obviously this is an investment. I do want to keep it in good condition. But again, I didn't buy my decks just to look at them sitting on a shelf. I do want to use them. So it kind of just, you know, <laughs> It made me a little intimidated because I don't want to mess it up, but at the same time, I do want to use them. I didn't get them just to stare at them. Um, all right, so here is the Ace of Wands. I mean, Anna's work is impeccable. It's just so gorgeous. Um, the Knight of Wands. The Lovers. Four of Wands. The Hanged Man. This is one of the cards that just like called to me and said, you have to get the stack. Uh, the Hermit. But the one that really did it for me was the Fool. 
Let me see if I can find it. Oh, and I love this one, The Magician, after I believe it's after Merlin. That was gorgeous too. Kuan Yin, The Page of Cups. I mean, it's just, I love how her gown is is the water that she, oh, it's just so gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry. Eight of Pentacles. All right, let me see if I can find the full. I mean, that's a gorgeous strength card. I love the Fae here. I really hope that they do bring this deck back because it's just so gorgeous. And I really want everyone to be able to love on it and enjoy it if they are interested in doing so. The Five of Cups. I mean, that's just so... That one hits, you know? The Elephant in the Bone Garden. And I mean, elephants are supposed to have a really good memory. So that just, that one speaks to me. Um, I mean, that death card or ace of pentacles. I don't know why I keep thinking it's the death card, the skeleton, but I mean, that's gorgeous. The ace of pentacles, that new growth. Watch, it's going to be the last one I see. <laughs> it's definitely going to be the last one I see. Uh, even that. There it is. The Fool. I just love how she is going into this tree and, and the stars, like it's another dimension. It's just, it's gorgeous. So, I'm going to use this deck this month so that I'm using it more regularly. Um, and I don't just keep it on the shelf, all pretty, but not getting the love it deserves. All right, the next deck I will be also using is my mermaid tarot. From here on out, it's pretty much an ocean theme. I'm not going to lie. Uh, July, I think summer, and I think going to the beach and water. So next is my mermaid tarot. And um, yeah, I think I was the one who edged this. I can't even remember. I'm pretty positive I edged this. My cat is in the window and she's messing with my uh, curtain. <laughs> so here is the hanged man. Three of wands. Six of cups. Nine of swords. Eight of Pentacles. And this is reversible, as you can see, if you are into reading reversals. Um, the Hermit. The Magician. Seven of Cups. This one totally reminds me of Little Mermaid. <gasps> I just love mermaids. Um, my, when I was six, I was like, I want to be a mermaid when I grow up. And I think it's because I had heard about like wiki washi, but I cannot hold my breath long enough, even though uh, to don a mermaid tail and be a professional mermaid. So. <laughs> Plus, I would want to be a mermaid in the big ocean. <laughs> All right, so, and then here is the book. And so, The Mermaid Tarot by Lisa Robertson, illustrated by Julie Dillon. And this is all in color, so it's a gorgeous book. It talks about reversals. Um, a little bit about the deck in itself. 
I do believe it has a few spreads. Never pay enough attention to the books. I'm going to be honest with you. Can you get out of the window, baby? No? Okay. So, like, here's the full, a little bit about the picture, upright meaning, sorry. And then a reversal. And each card has that information. And it's like a full picture on the side. So here's where the two of cups starts, but here's the picture. And then you're stuck in here right now, babes. I'm sorry. I did not see any spreads, but there might be some and I just didn't see them. Um, the next deck is my Ocea, um, Oceanum Ar Arcane, the Ocean Tarot. And this is the little white book it comes with. And this is another deck that I supported on Kickstarter. My legs are all tangled up over here. Um, and looking for who created it. Um, it was designed and illustrated by Taylor Whole Quest Todd. And I have a couple of the other books. Now this, like I said, I don't typically use um, the books anyways. But these books, I mean, the print is really, really little, so that's kind of hard. But um, it just says a little bit about the creature that is in the picture, some keywords, and interpretation suggestions. And this is the back. So this one, you... It's not very reversible, um, but if you don't really memorize which side's up, which side's down, like that shouldn't be a problem. It's got this beautiful gold foiling edging. So like the Knight of Swords. I just keep moving this little camera, so sorry. Um, the Ten of Cups. I do like that they chose the seahorses for the lovers. You can't go in there, sweetheart. I mean, that is an awesome death card right there. No, sweetie. The fourth deck. Oh, no, wait, nope. We're on fifth deck. Yeah, the fifth deck is My Messages from the Mermaids by Karen Kay.
I do like the inclusivity, inclusivity of this, that they're not all tiny little blondes. As we pull up some tiny little blondes, but. And here is the little white book for it. And it has a nice compound section too, how to work with your cards, um, forming a bond, getting to know them, preparing for a reading, creating a sacred space, ooh, taking a mermaid bath. And then it has the interpretation of the cards. And... It does have a few spreads here. The seashell spiral, uh, three card spread, the starfish spread. And then for each card, it has a little black and white picture, a little paragraph about it, and then talking about the card itself. And the meaning. Number six is my Titanic. Risen Spirits deck. This is the second edition. Well, it's the first edition of the Risen Spirits, but it's the second time that this creator made the tarot deck and they just made it a little different this time. So it wasn't so much pips. Um, so this is by, it's pretty dark in here. So this is a little, uh, black, a little white book though it's black. Um, it does have a couple three card spreads, or I guess just has the one spread. Tips. And then, oh, each of the cards are in color in here. Never even noticed, see? And it just says a little bit about each card. And then, um, some of these cards also are based off of actual passengers. So for those ones, it will say. So like for an example here, um, the king, um, like which one am I in here? Swords, the king of swords. Um, the king is an intellectual authority, stern and logical. Our king of swords is Archibald Butt or Butte. I'm not sure. So it does say if it is based off of someone. And I want to say this is by James. I'm not sure, but it is by Barclay Mountain. But I want to say that this was created... By James. I'm shocked it's not in the little book or hmm. sorry the picture has gotten a little grainy. Hopefully that will pass. And this is one of my favorite favorite cards from both decks. The judgment card because here they're helping them up but if you flip it over here, they're trying to keep them from getting into the boat and tipping the boat over. So that was just a beautifully done card.
I'll put this one obviously in order. Oh, no, not completely. Strength, the mom and, and child getting away in the boat and to represent the lion, she has a little stuffed lion. Three of Cups, passengers down, um, down. This one reminds me of the movie Titanic, like the passengers in the lower decks partying. <laughs> Five of Cups, seeing the Titanic leave. This has a nice black edging. I did not do that. That the deck came that way. So I look forward to really getting to know this deck better. I played with my other ones, so I'm excited to um, now play with this one. Really cloud. Okay. I let's see here. The next deck is my glow oracle. I have my cat behind me, and I also have a green screen for when I do therapy, and <laughs> she is attacking the green screen. All right, so this is my Glow Oracle by Robin um, Volsey. Voice, vo, vo, Sorry if I got that wrong. It has this gorgeous edging here, building. Um, and I have talked about this deck in a previous um, video because we pulled a card for it and put it in our back. But um, yeah, this is a be another beautiful deck. I've, obviously, I think all my decks are beautiful. Otherwise, you know, I would not have them. But this um, Oracle is a deck featuring animals that have a unique relationship with light and the messages that they have to share. And so it has 64 cards in it. Um, again, any links I can find to any of these cards, um, I will share. I don't know what is or is not uh, out of print. Um, So each of these also have like a um, sigil or a symbol on them hidden in the picture. So here's the Hawaiian bobtail squid and its keywords are creativity and inspired action. Uh, the scorpion fish, unexpected, spontaneous, swift action. I'm just gonna let you read. Yeah, I did not know the Snow White Owl had a relationship with light like in that sense. So you learn quite a bit too in this deck. So this is the little white book. Has a nice uh, contents section. It explains what bioluminescence is, iridescence, and biofluorescence. It has a couple. It has a couple. Um, no, baby, you cannot go in there. It has a couple different spreads. We're almost done. And then for each of the cards, there is a color picture. And then it says, you know, what the relationship is with light. And then a little bit about the creature. 
and then the conservation status and a little tidbit of awesomeness. And so then also what the card means related to why that um, creature was chosen. So that is gorgeous. I mean, look at this little happy looking tree frog. He's a polka dot tree frog. <laughs> All right, then number eight is Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. I really love this deck. This deck, it's a mass market deck, um, and it just really throws a punch at you. It's just, it's really, really good. At least it's been my experience with it, that it's just, not only are these cards beautiful, but it says so much and it's just always hit true for me. So um, for each one, it does have a number so it'll be easier to find the information in the book. It has like a phrase and then a little um, excerpt. So for example, in this one, in the light of the moon with the orca, a full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting. This can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty. octopus blend into the environment. I mean, hey, hey, do not pull that down. And this is the back of the back. I don't know why that one's backwards. But okay, there we go. So the back of the deck, I have not edged this. The back of the deck is the cutest little turtles. So obviously you cannot do reversible with this. Well, I mean, you could, but you would know it's not reversible on the back. Um, in the book, has a nice little feel, um, contents. And again, it's numbered, so you can easily find your card. It has a couple spreads. Do not climb up that green screen. Thank you. Thank you for being a good girl and getting down. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then for each card, it's in black and white. Again, it says what's on the card and then explains why that creature is connected with that card and the meaning of the card. Let's see. And this is a deck by Angela Hartfield. And the artist is Ekaterina Golovanova. Again, so sorry if uh, I got those names wrong. All right, and then the last deck, again, I do not think that this deck is available anymore. Um, Hopefully, they also create a second printing of this deck. I know at the time that I purchased it, I supported this on, not on Kickstarter, but on the other one that I've only used twice. <laughs> Starts with an I. I cannot think of what it's called. Indiegogo. That's it. Indiegogo. Um, I've only supported two decks on there. I just find that Kickstarter is easier. Um, but I know that at the time that I supported this, uh, they were saying that they were not planning on making a second run of it. It comes with this beautiful blue edging. And then the back is just gorgeous. It's, you know, water. And when they created these cards, the watercolor uh, pictures that they came from, the water used for the watercolor paintings was actually ocean water. Um, so it's just, it just gives me chills. I just love this deck so much. And the artwork is by Nawan Junhasiri. Junhasiri. 
Um, it's just, again, hello, breathtaking, beautiful, adorable. <sighs> Cannot say enough beautiful, good things about this deck. So I really do hope that they print it again or that there is a way for others who want to get this deck, sorry, goodness gracious, who want to get this deck um, will be able to in the future. This is definitely a deck that I do not see ever decluttering. Um, it just reminds me of home so much and um, the ocean that I grew up there. I mean, how cute is that? That two of earth, two of pentacles, and he's balancing the little uh, bubbles. It's just, it's beautiful. Four of fire with the little salamanders. So yeah, this is definitely one that I will always, always keep. So these decks, to be fair, most of these decks, I don't ever foresee. It does not have, did it have a little book? No, it does not have a little book. It had a PDF book. So I have that somewhere on my computer. But again, since I rarely ever look at books, um, that's not a problem for me. Whenever I can get the guidebook, I will just because I never know if I'm going to keep the deck, pass it on to a family member. Maybe they use the books, um, declutter it in the future. So whenever I can get my hands on a guidebook, I prefer to have the guidebook, even if I don't choose to use it uh, right away. I do like to have it so I can use it in the future if I should change my mind. Anyways, so those are my nine decks for the month of July. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any of these decks, what your experiences are with these decks. Um, do you choose a couple decks to focus on each month? If so, which, uh, which not which, which decks will you be uh, using in July? And until next time, stay blessed and stay beautiful. Bye.